Hey everybody, it's TJ again with the A Good Day to Roll Die blog, back with another day of my 12 days of Trekmas. Again, looking at some attack wing. Uh, the ships I'm looking at are ships that are st uh, older stock, pre-faction pack, uh, that are still available out there somewhere for for cheap, for at or around the retail price, the original retail price. So my whole idea here is, well, myself, I still consider myself a fairly new player. If you've come back to the game, if you're buying into the game, you have all these more recent faction packs, are any of these older ships and cards worth picking up? Okay. So today we have Interceptor 5. It doesn't even have the dignity of getting its own unique name. It's just number 5, one of the various Bajoran Interceptors that we saw during Deep Space Nine. I think this one is supposed to represent one of the ships that was part of the blockade against the Romulans uh, late in the in the series. Uh, so it's kind of a counterpoint to the Cardassian ship that we already saw. I also picked this one up at Hills Wholesale Gaming. It was 10 bucks, so it was 50 cents more than the Coronac. I bought it as part of my Black Friday splurge, and um, I thought it was fairly cheap, and I had... I hadn't had any uh, Bajoran Interceptors up until this point. So uh, what do we have here? Well, we have our miniature, and I really like this miniature. I think it looks so cool. Um, it looks like it's a one-piece plastic. The the color on here, the contrast, the design, it just looks so fantastic. I realize WizKids is not responsible for the design of the ship, but it's still cool nonetheless. Um, it it it's almost looks untrek like it i keep looking at it thinking it's a, a wing commander ship you know like, like it's a, one of the hornets or something like that um and we, we you know why don't we have a wing commander tabletop game why don't we have any wing commander at all i feel like it's been like a decade since there's been a wing commander game and maybe i'm just dating myself here because uh, i remember when heart of the tiger came out and price of freedom and prophecy and um someone needs to bring that back maybe whiz kids maybe maybe not whiz kids but that would be great. Uh, in the meantime, we have this Bajoran Interceptor that we can play with. A 90 degree forward firing arc, no rear. So let's take a look at the, the cards. And again, the ship uh, is probably the peak of this pack. Uh, it unfortunately, doesn't doesn't get a lot better from here, I must say. A named card, Interceptor 5. Uh, 2330, no shields. One of each type of upgrade slot does have your kind of standard Federation style action bar with the battle station scan, target lock, and evade. 16 points. That's not good. Um, these ships have not have not been recosted in WizKids yet, and if they did, it'd have to be a lot cheaper than that to make it worthwhile. I, I don't know what where this ship fits in the game. It's not really a support ship. It's not really enough to be even kind of a harasser ship. It's just a little mosquito that uh, your opponent's going to swat away uh, after it takes care of your, your bigger ships. I like the action. Um, you don't lose your perform action step or take damage when you bump a planet, an obstacle, or a ship. You can roll your full defense dice against any minefield, but it's on a ship that you're just you're not going to use. Um, if you want a cheap ship, uh, the Burrells are 13 points, the new... Generic sabers from ships of the line are, are now twelve points. There's just this is not a ship you're going to use, unfortunately. Uh, ditto for the generic. Uh, if 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 it's possible, this has gotten worse now. So it's the same same amount of points, probably because the stats are the same. But you have no special ability. Uh, you've lost a crew slot and you've lost a scan action. I I'm sure there's another example out there and someone can point me to it. I can't think of another generic ship that lost one of its actions compared to the named ship. But uh, there's, again, no reason to to run that card. Uh, it's too bad because the maneuverability of the Interceptor is pretty good. There's no red maneuvers. You have two come about maneuvers. You have lots of green. You don't have a four straight, but this is a really maneuverable ship. Seems like it'd be fun to play around with. Um, but you're not going to play around with it because the, the card itself, the ship's stats themselves are, are not great. You have your generic Bajoran captain. Uh, moving on, you have Hazar. This is your first unique captain. Uh, seven skill, four cost, one elite talent slot. Uh, his ability isn't bad. Uh, it's a passive ability. I always like those. I'm not having to spend an action on it. He's not getting disabled. Um, it has to be within range one of a planet, and then ships that are attacking you get negative one attack die. 
it's just there there are better defensive captains out there. There are better four uh cost captains, there are better seven skill captains out there. So I just Hazard does not uh does not show up in my mind as as a card I would consider um for any any real purpose, unfortunately. Uh Lenaris Hollum, another defensive captain, three skill, two points, no elite talent slot. Uh, if you have a evade token beside your ship when you are you are attacked, you can reroll one defense dice. One defense dice, not an extra defense dice. Just reroll one of them you have already. Um, again, it's not. There are other cards that do it better. We saw in the Koronak pack you have Golovek. He allows you to reroll all of your blank dice. Doesn't you don't require an evade token. There's no limit on the number of dice you can reroll. There's probably a good chance you're going to roll at least one blank dice when you're rolling defense. So right there, his ability is, in my mind, better than Linares Hollum. He's got a higher uh, captain skill. He would cost you one more point for cross-faction-wise, but I think it'd be worth it. Okay, And as I've said, I've seen some really beastly defensive builds with Golovek. I can't think of any defensive builds I've seen using Linares Hollum, uh, but I mean, doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I just don't think it's going to be very common. One elite talent, Militia, three points. Um, this is the sh- card that I kind of wish Captured Intelligence was in terms of how it gets activated because you activate it at the start of the combat phase, not in response to something happening during the phase. So at the start of the combat phase, you can discard Militia to get a battle station token. If the ship, if this card's on a Bajoran captain on a Bajoran ship, you get plus two attack dice, but you're not getting plus two attack dice because you're not playing any of these captains and you're not playing an interceptor. So this card could get you a battle station token. Again, I wish Captured Intelligence would activate at the start of the combat phase rather than in response to being attacked so you could possibly take advantage of some other effects that uh, that are used in conjunction with evades. But uh, Militia's okay. But, uh, you know, it's, it's better on a Bajoran ship, uh, and it's a ship you're not going to use. Anara is our first crew. Three points. As an action, you can discard Anara to repair one damage to your hull. Anara is another great example of a card that has lost its effectiveness, what effectiveness it had, anyway, due to more recent cards. Montgomery Scott, Scotty, in the animated series faction pack, his action is a disable action, and he can repair either a shield or a hull, and he is four points. So for one additional point, I'd much rather take Scotty if I want a repair ability on my ship than a one-time discard for three points that wastes my action. If this was a, a free action if this if or something like that, that might be a little bit different, or maybe something that could be done during the uh, planning phase or, or end phase or whatever, but not as a, as a whole action on its own. Then we have Neela, five points. Uh, her action, you can target a ship at range one to three. You roll three attack dice. If you get at least one critical hit, you inflict one critical damage to the target ship's hull, and then you have to discard Neela. Um, if you don't do damage, you have to disable her. Now, that's costly. Um, I've already talked about how I don't like actions that require me to disable the card, because that just makes it more complicated to use the card a second time. And uh, the chances of rolling at least one critical hit on three attack dice is I think I think it should be less than 50%. You you only you only have a one in eight chance on each die. Um, I'm a geology major, I'm not a math major, so someone maybe can point out how that statistically it's it's effective, but uh, most of the time you're gonna be wasting an action to not do anything to your opponent. So you're disabling a card that does nothing uh, for five points. I uh, I I don't see I don't see the effectiveness there, so I'm sorry, Neela, but uh, but you are not going on my 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 fleet. We have one weapon, phaser strike, four points, three attack, range one to three. Um, has an action. There are very few weapons that have actions. I think the original uh, multi-vector assault mode is one other example, but the action here is at least it's not a disable action. But during the combat phase, you can attack with this weapon as if you had a captain skill of ten. That's pretty cool. Uh, but then during the attack phase, you have to disable this card. Uh, range combat bonuses apply, which would be nice at short range. Um, costs a lot more if it's on a Bajor, if it's not on a Bajoran interceptor. Can't use it on a ship with a hull value greater than three, so that discounts most of the ships in the game. 
Again, there's a lot going on here. I feel like that's a theme in these older packs are cards that just have too much going on and there are too many penalties for using them. You got a burner action to make your captain skill 10. Um, that means you don't have any quality when you make this attack unless you have, you know, a Picard or or a uh, or a Ducat. And then you really don't need to bump your captain skill to 10 because it's pretty high already. Um, and then you got to disable this card, so you got to spend another action to re-enable it. Um, which means you can't use the the skill action every every turn. It's it's just too much for three points. No way. If you want a captain captain skill of ten when you're attacking, spend four points and put it towards a better captain, or put Will Riker on your on your your ship and give your captain plus three skill permanently. So yeah, this is a you know, just this is not a good a good weapon uh, to me. We have two tech cards we have warp drive refit uh, two points i like two points so that, that's a that gives it gives it a slight advantage in my mind right away um so you can put this on the ship and during the activation phase if you reveal a straight three maneuver you can use a four straight instead obviously meant to make up for the lack of the four straight maneuver that's on the bajoran interceptor card whoa there we go i can't use it on any ship that has a maneuver of four or higher on the maneuver dial. So again, we're most of the ships that are in the game, we can't use this on them. Uh, there's, I guess, a slight advantage to this because it gives you some option to switch up your maneuver after you've set it, but that's really slight. If, if you want the ability to change up your maneuver after you set it and after you reveal the dial, that's what chemocytes for, uh, and that can be used on any ship, not just a Bajoran interceptor or I guess you could probably put this on a, a, a Oberth class or something like that, but that's about it. Finally, we have maneuverability. Uh, this definitely wins on amount of text on a card. So five points. During the activation phase, if you reveal a one turn or come about maneuver, you may use the full about maneuver template instead. If you do, treat this as a red maneuver, so you're going to get an aux token. What is a full about maneuver? I don't know. Um, it looks, I really don't know. I, I've never performed one. It looks like it's two hard turns together. So it's almost, so you have a come about, but then you have some movement in it. So it's almost like doing a, a sensor echo with a come about maybe. Um, I, I can see that having some, some use, uh, but you're not using this card because it has to go on a Bajoran interceptor unless you're going to pay 10 points for it. And you're not paying 10 points for it. And you're not using the Bajoran interceptor. Uh, and there's some other text there. You can read it. Uh, you can overlap a planet token and, and stuff. But again, it's it's you're not gonna you're not gonna use this because you're not using a Bajoran interceptor, sadly. So, um, and that is the interceptor pack. Um, what what of value is in this pack? Um, well, again, I I like the ship. I think it looks awesome. Okay. Um, if you want to pretend that you're Colonel Christopher Blair. This is a ship for you. Militia, maybe, because it's a, an option to add a battle station token, essentially for free, without having to take an action. But half of the card ability can't be used because, again, you're not using it on a Bajoran ship, unfortunately. So who is this pack for? Um, it is for the... A Bajoran pure <laughs> faction player that doesn't exist. Uh, but I suppose if you only want to use Bajoran ships, you're gonna kind of be forced to to buy this pack because there's I think there's five Bajoran uh, ships out there. Uh, there are two interceptors, there are two scout ships, and then there is uh, there's this the the solar sail ship, the sailboat in space. So you'd have to do that. But beyond that, there's just the, there isn't really anything here for anybody um, aside from the cool miniature. Um, it's about the same size as the Star Trek Micro Machines. So if you want to, you know, zoom around space, uh, Micro Machine style with your Bajoran Interceptor, you could do that. But that's about it. It's not uh, it's not much of a pack for someone who actually wants to play the game, unfortunately. So that's where I'm at with the Interceptor. Uh, thank you for sticking with me here for the, this little segment, and I will see you again for the next day of Trekmas. Until then, take care. Bye.